Hi guys, I hope you're all well and welcome to episode 113 of the James Layton Fitness Podcast. Now in this specific episode we'll be discussing what you should do if you go over your calorie targets within a particular day. So first of all, first of all I think it's just so critical to realise that everyone goes over their calorie targets every now and again. Nobody's perfect, so therefore if this does happen to you, do not panic about this too much. The reason I say this is one bad day in isolation isn't really going to make or break your fat loss or muscle building goals. What will make or break your results is a accumulation of bad days back to back consistently. If you're having one bad day in isolation every now and again, it's not going to make or break your results, but having an accumulation of bad days back to back can really hamper your progress. So as such, if this does happen to you, if you go over your calorie targets within a particular day, you have essentially two options. Now the first option is what I would suggest to about 99% of people, and this is why I suggest to most of my coaching clients, and that is to basically forget about the day you went over the calorie targets and to just get back on track as normal, following your normal nutrition targets from now on. And as I said, the reason why is it's not the one bad day in isolation you should fear. You should fear the bad days back to back, the, the accumulation of bad days back to back. And as such, by getting back on track immediately the day after, you basically prevent this from happening, you prevent the accumulation of bad days back to back happening. Now, the second option is what I would suggest to people who are a little bit more advanced, they've got a little bit more experience with tracking their food intake, they're very in tune with exactly the calories and macronutrients they're eating every single day and that is to basically offset these additional calories they've consumed within that particular day when they went over their calorie targets later in the week and that therefore means you should do this you should calculate the amount of calories you should be consuming throughout a particular week so let's say for example you're consuming 2,000 calories per day so over the course of the seven days the course of the week that's 14,000 calories and let's say for example on that particular bad day you went over your caloric intake and you had 4,000 calories on that particular day so therefore that means you've got 10,000 calories left to play with for the remaining six days because we had 14,000 calories to meet throughout the whole week we've consumed 4,000 calories on a particular day and that leaves 10,000 calories left to consume for the remaining six days and that would be how you would go about doing it you'd therefore reduce your caloric intake on the remaining six days to meet that remaining 10,000 calories to hit the net total of 14,000 calories for the week and therefore you're consuming the same calories you would have consumed if you had a perfect week of meeting your calorie targets every single day. So this is certainly an option you have if you're someone that's more advanced, you've got a lot more experience with tracking your food and take as a great way to basically offset those particular calories within a particular day. Let's say for example you had a day where you knew that you were going to be out and about, you knew there was going to be a lot of calories you were going to consume, potentially going away with friends or family on a particular day and then after that day you can just focus on offsetting those additional calories for the remaining six days. So hopefully that's been useful, hopefully you can apply one of those two strategies. Like I said, for 99% of people it's just a case of getting back on track as normal after the day when you went over the calorie targets but if you're more advanced feel free to apply the second option I gave which is offsetting those additional calories consumed later in the week and just to conclude like I mentioned many times throughout that podcast don't fear the bad day in isolation fear the accumulation of bad days the accu- accumulation of days where you're going over your cl- calorie intake that is what will hold you back from achieving your fat loss and muscle building goals so hopefully that's been useful thank you very much for listening if you're still yet to download my free ebook how to set up a nutrition plan if you go to James Layton L-A-Y-T and fitness.co.uk you'll see a tab at the top of the page called free ebook and you can download that immediately thank you very much and I look forward to speaking to you next week take care